What's up guys? I'm outside. I am cutting up cutting up nuts. Dudes, I'm busting nuts. <laughs> I thought it'd be cool to kind of like go over again. I did this once before. The proper way to cut a butternut squash. And so let me see if I can get the focus. There. So the easiest way to cut a butternut squash is to remember you're not moving the knife you're moving the squash so if you try to cut like slice through a squash it's hard if you're trying to do it with the knife but if you just kind of do that and then rock the squash back and forth it'll slice right through it super easy So, I'm just holding the knife still, and the squash is doing all the work. And then you'll have these little squash rings until you get to the bulbous part of the squash, and that's where the seeds and stuff are. So, when you're with the, the, the kind of a ring of squash, then you just take your knife and slice the skins off, just like this. And then, now you just have the good stuff right here. I got a little bit of the rind still on the side here. And then, this is pure gold. You just slice it like this. Then you spin it, give it a little half spin. Go down like this. And now you have perfect butternut cubes. Busting out nuts, dudes. Yeah, look at how cool it is. I love looking at when you cut it how the water, it usually comes, it beads up all around the side. You can really see how, like the water waves within, the, within it. So that's how you do, uh, like the ring without this. And then I'll do it this way. So here's the whole ring with the seeds. And what I usually do is I usually cut it in half. It might be easier if you do it quarters. And then you can kind of use your knife like a paring knife you would where you just cut that out. Or you can immediately cut it and then you just kind of cut the rings on it. And there's still a little bit of goo on there. And you just take your, your knife. Just clean it up real. There's a perfect piece of butternut. Hold on, I forgot to cut my skin off. I would cut the skin off first. So. Here it is. Cut the skin off. I would cut all the skin off before I even slice the whole first ring. I don't know why I skipped it. And that's the way you can get the most uh, squash out of your butternut squash. I left my other bowl inside on accident. When you get around the tip of it, yeah, okay. When you get around here, the end of it, You just cut it like this. And then what I do, what I usually do is it's kind of something like this.
Look and see if there's anything gross on it that you don't want to eat. <laughs> Perfect piece. So this end piece is totally harvestable. There's a lot of squash pieces that will come out of this end piece. So what I'm gonna do, yeah, just to show you what some people would maybe throw away. Take note of how many pieces are in the bowl. Because I'm gonna cut up this little end and put and I'm gonna put everything I get out of that piece back in this bowl. And I'm gonna take a picture. And that's the next thing that you'll see right now. All right, I have two big butternut squash cut up. Here's what I got. This will go into my freezer. And I'll show you how many I got left. So I decided I wanted to eat some. I'm gonna roast some in the air fryer. So here's what I have going. Just kind of a handful. I'm gonna hit it up with some oil, some spray, some oil. And then I have this seasoning. It is coriander, cumin, clove powder, ginger, black pepper, cinnamon, fennel, and salt. It's Roma. Hawaji Somali and I got this at Cup Foods in um, in the kind of ethnic food aisle and by the Mexican and Asian so now Put it in the air fryer, which I have a liner in there. I, I put them all in there, and then I'm like, wait up, hold on. I got that new seasoning. I'm gonna hit it up with some salt, and then, oh my God, I can't wait. Oh my God, they're so good. So here they are, and I'm going to put I'm drinking up this water, so for that. I'm gonna put some honey. And these are still got a little, a little bit of a tooth to them, I guess you would say. They're not super mushy, uh, but they're super yummy. I just had my daughter try one. I said, do you, would you like them more mushy, or do you kind of like them like this? And she said, I like them like this. So really, really good. Can't wait to eat.